Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. Uh, today we will discuss uh, one more uh, NPDA example. Okay, and this example is we have to design a PDA for the language L is equal to a to the power n, b to the power n, where n is greater than or equal to 1, union a to the power n, b to the power 2n, where n is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so we have to design a PDA in which it should accept either this string or this string. Okay. So, it will be a NPDA. Now, uh, if we see this separately, we have already done this one and we have already done this one. So, both of the uh, PDAs we have already de designed. So, we will design it again and then I will I'll show you how to do this one that is a union operation. Okay? So, it will be a NPDA. Fine. So, first of all, I will do for A and B n and then I will do for A and B to n and then I will show how to perform the union operation. Okay. So, first of all, do the A and B n. So, uh, what I will do? I will take some initial state Q1. Now, what is the concept in this one? The concept is uh, till A is coming, we have to push it into the stack. Okay. So, all the A's will be pushed in. As soon as the B comes, we have to pop all the A's from the stack. Okay. So, this will be pushed in and for this, this A will be popped out. Okay. So, first of all, I will take a move for A that is A comma Z naught slash A Z naught. That is, if A comes, topmost element in stack is Z naught, push it. Okay. Similarly, I will, uh, second A comes. So, what again? If A comes, topmost element is now A. What do we do? We simply push it into the stack. So, all the A's will be pushed into the stack using these two transitions. Okay? Now, as soon as the B comes, what we do? We, have, we simply have to start popping the A's that we have pushed into the stack. So, for B, I will take a move. That is, B comes and the topmost element is because we have pushed all the A's. So, topmost element will be A in this case. That is, A. What do we do? We simply pop out okay and then we reach on to some other state that is q2 say at q2 i will take a self loop this self loop will pop all the a's that is the element of process is b the topmost element is a what do we do we simply pop out okay so all the a's are pushed in and with this move and with this move all the a's are popped out and the stack is now empty and what we get epsilon comma z naught and z naught that is skip operation and we reach on to some final state that is q3 and we are done. So, we are done for the a and b n part. Now, for the a and b to n part. So, what do we do in this one? Uh, we have already discussed that that is a comes, we will push it. First b comes, we will skip it. Second b comes, pop 1 a. Third b comes, we skip it. Fourth b comes, pop 1 a. Fifth b comes, skip it. Sixth b comes, pop it. Okay. So, the first B will be skipped, second B pop 1 A. Okay. So, I will do this uh, this one also. So, I uh, will uh, take different state in this one. So, say I will take Q4 as the initial state. Okay. So, what do we do? I will take a self loop for pushing the A's in this one. So, A comes, the topmost element will be Z0, we push it, that is A Z0. Again, if A comes, topmost element is A, what we do? We simply push it. So, all the A's will be pushed in. Okay? As soon as now the first B comes. Okay? So, first B come, what do we do? We do not have to do anything. First B needs to be skipped. So, skip operation will be performed. B, B comes, the topmost element will be A. What do we do? We do not do anything. We simply let as it is. Okay? So, we will reach on to Q5 state and now the next B, we have to pop one A for this one. So, I will take again a move from here. That is, if B comes, the topmost element is A. What do we do? We simply pop the A out and we reach on to Q, uh, sorry, Q6. Okay. This is Q6. Now, first B skipped, second B pop A, third B skip again. So, I will come back here again and that is B, the element of process, the topmost element is A, what do we do? We do not do anything, we skip it and it is A only, perform the skip operation and we reach on to Q5 again. So, first B, skip, second B, pop 1A, third B, skip, fourth B, pop, fifth B, skip, sixth B, 
pop. So this cycle will work and all the A's will be popped out from the stack. So for two B's, one A will be popped out. Okay. So this will be done and then finally the string will end and uh, this uh, stack will be empty. I will take a move for epsilon, comma Z0 and Z0. We reach on to some final state Q7 and we are done for this a and b to n part okay so we are done for this one now what about the union part so for union what i'll do i'll simply take a initial state here that is q naught here okay and join this with this one join this with this one and remove this from here remove this from here write a comma z naught slash a z naught here a comma z naught slash a z naught here okay so this will be the union operation that is at q naught we have two moves for a that is a the topmost element is z naught a the topmost element is z naught so we have two moves we can either go this way or we can go this way okay so whatever is there suppose a string is there that is a a b b okay so in this one the machine doesn't know which part to follow but technically and manually if i see it see this one so i know this is for a and b n and this string is following a and b n so technically uh, this should root should be followed okay but we see this manually but the machine does not know this one okay so machine will actually follow both the paths it will go this way also it will go this way also but since this one is for a and b to n so somewhere down the line it will go and terminate before reaching on to the final state okay but if it goes this way in this way it will finally end at q3 so this will be the correct path okay but the machine doesn't know which path to follow so every time we have this one this a so it will go both the ways here also here also here it will not be able to reach onto the final state here it will reach onto the final state if i take this as a a b b b b that is a n b 2 n then then again it will follow this way and this way here somewhere it will terminate before reaching onto the final state but here since it is for a n b 2 n so finally it should go and end at q7 okay so this is again an npda we have two moves for a that is here also here also machine has the has two options for the first move that is either it can go this way or it can go this way fine so that is why it is called as a npda and this machine will work for this particular language that is the union of two different pdas thank you so much